What are you doing? It's like someone's hair in my mouth, so that's good. <laughs> I don't think it was mine. <laughs> So I asked you guys a while ago in my Brandy Melville lookbook if you guys would want to see a Brandy Melville inspired thrift haul. A lot of the current styles at Brandy right now, I always go into thrift stores and I'm like, I feel like this could be sold at Brandy Melville currently. So I'm going to go to the thrift store today and take it upon myself to try and not get distracted and just look for designated Brandy Melville-esque dupe kind of items for you guys. And I'm also just going to like show you guys some things that I think are good options that I've probably won't pick up just because they'll probably be too expensive or something like that and I just don't really need them. So yeah, we're off to Valley Village today. Let's get it. Let's go. Let's do this. That's me. myself right now. This kind of looks like a brand new level top that I already have, but oh, I thought it was $11.99. That's not too bad. <laughs> They're kind of cute. Vintage Lululemon for the low cost of $25. Let me know if you guys had one of these because I sure as heck did. You could sell that for a lot of money. Sir. How much are they selling for? $8. Oh shit. Oh my god, there's two. Oh wait. This is beautiful. This is right here, guys. More gingham bottoms. These are capris, but honestly, Brandy Melville says these for like 50 bucks. Only $8 here. Let's see if we can find any more clocks. Oh, collision. So I like the color of this one. I feel like it's very Brandy Melville-esque, but with shirts like this, you can just kind of knot them in the front. Give me a minute. Don't mind my bodysuit underneath, but I feel like if you just add a little knot, it's very on trend with a lot of things that are in stores right now. This is a really ugly look with my bodysuit underneath, so I hope you guys can see the beauty behind this. I'm actually really into this denim jacket. It's only $4.99. Real Canadian tuxedo right here. Thank you. So then I picked up this tube top. I'm not even gonna try it on because I'm not gonna get it, but $6, a little expensive for the quality, but something like this you could easily cut to make look like the tube tops that they have in stores right now. And then this is just another shirt kind of to kind of similar to the ones that I already tried on, tied in a knot. You're looking cute AF. Like a branded Melville knockoff brand because it's all one size and it looks exactly like something that you would find there. It's by the brand Prime Cut. The tag is not focusing. But, yeah, never heard of it, but it's a pretty good dupe. But it's kind of expensive, once again, $5.99. I'm just way too lazy to even take off my bodysuit right now, so we're gonna rock this look. But I'm really not a fan of this material. It feels like super unbreathable. It's not worth $6, to be honest. Whoa. Take off my pants, but this skirt is $7.99. Something that they would like get in for the fall season, just like a gingham plaid. Skirt, it's a little long, but honestly, you could get this hemmed or like sew it yourself. Could be a cute fit, but I'm just too lazy. I'm too dehydrated. And I'm trying to talk quiet but loud because I feel like people in the rooms next to me are thinking I'm crazy. So <laughs> cute. They're only $4.99. Found them in the sleepwear section, but once again, I'm too lazy to try them on. They are a cute idea. Kind of tempted to buy them, but. Yeah. It's a very tight look. <sighs> I'm sweating. I'm actually very into this, but it's $7.99, so with how itchy it is, I just don't know if it's really worth it, but it's a cute color. Alright, we are out of here. These are the yeses that I will show you when I'm home. Ta da! Ta da! It was worth being itchy for. 
something. How much money did you spend? Fifty-four dollars. Kind of expensive, but I bought my turkey a nice sweater, so. Hey guys, welcome to the haul part of this video, probably the part that you guys have been anticipating the most. So I'm really excited to share with you guys these items, but before I get into it, I know I've kind of prolonged this, but I want to mention that I'm gonna be doing a huge clothing sale here in Toronto on this date right here on the screen, it still needs to be finalized. So I'm gonna be doing this sale with a bunch of other content creators from Toronto, and we're just gonna be getting together, hanging out, selling our stuff, and just, it's gonna be a really fun time, so. I just wanted to mention that before because a lot of these things in this haul I personally don't really need but I want to get them for the video to share with you guys because a lot of you requested this video when I suggested it in my Brandy Melville um, summer lookbook thing. Yeah, that's what that's called. So I thought I'd pick things up and then just kind of like bring them to the sale with me so you guys can pick them up if you are interested in them. And yeah, moral of the story is it's just a heck of a lot cheaper to shop thrift than to shop Brandy Melville. So if Brandy Melville is a little out of your price range, going to the thrift store is a great option. I have this huge bag here of stuff. I did pretty well. I wanted to base this on like summer fall fashion because fall is coming up even though it's like stinking hot out here today. So I went to Valley Village and the first thing that I picked up was this really cute short sleeve sweater. Short sleeve sweater. Try saying that 10 times fast. Um, mock neck kind of top. I actually bought something similar to this when I was working there but I really like the quality of this. It's it feels super good quality. It isn't extra large, but I was thinking of even just like cropping it because it is a little bit long on me, but super nice quality. It's by the brand Cotton Ginny, which was a brand from back in like the 90s, I believe. And I actually picked up some other things from that brand as well. So I guess there's like a common theme. I feel like that was like the Brandy Melville that our moms and aunts and maybe even our grandmas shopped at back in the day. And it was $6.49. Next, I picked up something gingham because Brandy Melville is like gingham heaven right now and we saw a lot of it in the summer. I thought that picking a shirt up like this would be a good piece to transition into fall but also still wear if you live in like a warmer climate or if you just live here where it's randomly hot for no reason. This one was only $4.50 so a really good price. The great thing with tops like this that button up is that you can always tie them in a knot to make them look even more cute and trendy. Something that Brandy Melville would definitely sell so as you guys will see in the try on I just took it, tied a knot in it, called it a day and for $4.50 that ain't bad, my friends, that ain't bad. All right, so next piece is definitely a very fall appropriate piece. It's this black kind of three quarter length sweater by that same brand, Cotton Ginny, that I mentioned earlier. This one was only $5. It's in a size small and it fits me quite nicely. It's like almost cropped, so very on theme with like a lot of the Brandy Melville pieces. They get a lot of knits, at least here in Canada, because I used to work at the store in Toronto. Since it does get very, very cold here, like very, very cold. I feel like they carry more sweaters and coats versus like a lot of the stores in the States. The material on this one, once again, is really, really nice, super soft, not itchy at all, and I just couldn't pass this up for $5. So yellow has been a huge color at Brandy, I feel like, for the last couple of seasons, but I feel like you can still wear it into the fall as well with like denim, a denim jacket. So this top was a little bit more expensive for some weird reason. It was $6.50, it's in a size large. It's by the brand Katie's, never heard of it before, but it's a nice yellow ribbed longer kind of sleeve t-shirt and I might even just crop this because it is a little bit long on me or shirts like this you could always like tie in a knot to make them more Brandy Melville-esque but I really liked the neckline cut it's not like super tight on your neck. I feel like the color is like an exact dupe for that honey Brandy Melville shirt. Moving on to something a little bit different and less basic. Brandy does get in those occasional like trendier pieces every once in a while and they've definitely had a lot of like lacy satiny type of numbers over the past couple of seasons. So I was in the lingerie section. Don't skip that section over. I found this super cute white lace detailed almost kind of cropped cami straight across cut which has been so in recently and this little guy was only a dollar 99 so versus like the Brandy Melville prices I'm pretty sure those tops go for like 20 20 ish dollars so this is definitely a bargain and a half all right so this next item I am super excited about because I originally was searching in the men's section for denim jackets I find it really hard to find good denim jackets at Valley Village because usually they mark them up a bunch or they just get picked up super quickly so I was in the women's section and I saw this one sitting on the rack and I looked at the tag, it's only $4.99 and I just kind of automatically thought like, oh, that's not going to be a good jacket. It's by the brand Attitude, it's 100% cotton and I really like this style of denim jacket and the wash and everything. It's very different because it has this zip up the top, but if you guys 
were in Brandy Melville last fall winter. They actually had a jacket very similar to this one. When I saw this for $5, I just was mind blown. I was like, I cannot not get that. And I'm considering selling this, guys, but I know I have a lot of denim jackets. But something about this one just, I feel like it needs to stay in my life. And then the last and final item that I have to share with you guys today is another, like, exact dupe for a Brandy Melville's t-shirt. I actually own this t-shirt by the brand Global Gold. It was only $4 and it's got this kind of like V cut. I guess that's what you call it up here by the neckline. It's a ribbed black material. It's just super cute. It's also got like the lettuce trimming which has been super in at Brandy over the last couple of seasons and I just feel like this is a grown-up vintage -y version of a Brandy Melville t-shirt that you would see in stores right now. And the nice thing about thrifting for Brandy Melville inspired things is that not everything is going to be one size either. For instance, this top is in a large and the one that I have from Brandy Melville just kind of like fits me a little bit awkwardly. I don't even really know why I bought it to be honest with you guys. But for me, this top fits a lot nicer and I feel like I can do so much more with it in terms of like tucking it in or I could crop it if I wanted to or tie it in a knot. Super good deal overall and my whole total for all these things was under $50. Your bank account would definitely be a little bit more sad at you if you were to do the shop at Brandy Melville versus the thrift store. So, so I hope this video gave you guys some inspiration. It was a lot of fun to do this, so let me know if you want to see like a part two or if you want to see me do another store inspired thrift haul because I'm up for the challenge. It was fun, it was fun but challenging, but I was actually really surprised with all the things that I got. So leave me your feedback down below. I always love hearing from you guys. Why am I clapping so much? That's gonna be it for today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you on my next video. Ta-ta!